Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering source code management system and migrations, what is shared authentication, and hosted Git services in DevOps. Guys, I have uploaded complete DevOps subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain source code management system and migrations. Guys, there are many source code management systems. And they are very important for software development because whenever any developer write code, at first he will store that code in source code management system. And Git software is one of the most popular source code management system. Guys, Git software has an interesting history. This Git software was created by Linus Torvalds. He created this Git software because in olden days, Linux developers used a tool called BitKeeper in order to manage their code. This BitKeeper was a good tool, but whenever its license changed, they cannot use complete features of this BitKeeper anymore. If they want to use complete features of this BitKeeper, they need to pay money. So instead of paying money to this BitKeeper software, Linus Torvalds decided to create a new tool. The tool name is Git. This Git was mainly created in order to manage code written by developers. Whenever developer write any code, at first he will place that code in Git. Guys, when compared to older systems, Git software has one of the major advantage that is Git is distributed version control system. That means there is no central server in order to store files. Each developer will work independently by sharing code among themselves. Guys, there are many distributed version control systems available. But among all these distributed version control systems, Git is one of the famous tool. These are benefits of Git software. First one is you can use Git offline. There is no need of internet in order to use this Git software. And there is no need of connecting to server for each and every operation. So Git is very fast. Guys, this Git software is present in your system. So only you can access the software. No others can access that software. So all your files are secure and private. Only if you share that code in GitHub, so all employees can access. So until that, your Git software is private and secure. Guess for example, you are developing project. Then you can store multiple copies of your project in different locations in Git software. So unexpectedly, if you delete one copy of your file, still remaining copies are available. So if you use Git software, then there is no loss of data. And this Git software is open source. That is nothing but you can download this Git software with free of cost in internet. And services like GitHub, GitLab, Bigbucket, all this supports Git. Guys, not only Git, there are some other distributed version control systems. They are Bazaar and Mercurial. Guys, Git is very complex because if you want to use Git software, then you need to learn Git commands. Even though this Git is complex, it is very fast and efficient. So if you don't know Git commands, if it is hard to understand, then you can also use graphical frontends in order to use Git software. Guys, migrations mean transferring something from one place to another place. And whereas source code management systems migration mean Moving data from one source code management system to another source code management system. After working with many source code management systems, there are some situations where you need to transfer your data from one source code management system to another source code management system. Moving data from one source code management system to another can be simple or it can be complicated based on source code management systems like Git, Subversion, Bazaar, etc. For example, if you want to transfer data from subversion to Git, then it is very easy. But if you want to transfer data from Git to Buzzer, it can be very tough. So depending on systems, moving data from one source code management system to another can be either complicated or it may be simple. And for many projects, keeping history is not necessary because still if needed, you can access old system data. Guys, Git, subversion, mercurial, preforce and Buzzer. All these tools are examples of source code management systems. And I already said before, moving data from subversion to Git is very easy and there is no loss of data. Still data will be accurate. Guys, next topic is shared authentication. Authentication is nothing but verifying user. I'll give one simple example. For example, I'm user. I want to use Facebook. Only if I enter correct username and correct password, I can access Facebook. What if I enter wrong password? I cannot access Facebook. So authentication is nothing but verifying user. Whether this user is correct user or wrong user. If he is correct user, then he can access website. 
and if he is wrong user then he cannot access website in many organizations there is a central server that handles authentication which verifies and allows access for users one common type of central authentication server is an ldap server where ldap stands for lightweight directory access protocol guys many companies are using ldap server in order to verify users that is in order to check whether this user is right user or wrong user if he is right user then this ldap server will give access to that user and if he is wrong user then this ldap server will not give access to this user if your organization is already using ldap server then it is very easy to manage user authentication that is nothing but it is very easy to verify users even if your company is not using ldap server then creating one dummy ldap server is very easy we call this dummy ldap server as test ldap server in order to create one dummy ldap server you need to install one software in your system the software name is 389 server and also you need to install one web application that web application name is php ldap admin by installing these two softwares you can create one dummy ldap server and this dummy ldap server will work same as original ldap server guys if you want to learn this ldap server then at first you need to install one dummy ldap server in your system by installing these two softwares and you can see how authentication will work without affecting your main system and if you want to verify user authentication for different servers then you need to follow the same process this is all about shared authentication next topic is hosted git servers guys github website and gitlab website these both are examples of hosted git servers but many companies are not using this hosted git services like github and gitlab because because of some legal reasons and because of some security issues this github and gitlab these both are websites that are available in internet so there is high chance of hacking that is why many companies will not show data in github and gitlab websites for example if you consider government organizations or companies dealing with money for example if you consider government banks and insurance companies they will not show their code in github or gitlab because github and gitlab are cloud based that are present in internet so because of some legal reasons and security issues they will show their code in their own systems for example i have a company i want to show my code in hosted git servers like github and gitlab so if you don't have any problem then storing your code in github or gitlab is very convenient and you can easily create free account in both github and gitlab so simply you can create free account and you can see what they offer and this github and gitlab provides various kinds of features such as web interfaces documentation wiki issue tracker commit and branch visualization pull request workflow these are various features offered by both github and gitlab guys this git is software maintained by linux and whereas github is product that belongs to microsoft and gitlab is product that belongs to gitlab company for example i'm developer i'm developing code in my system whenever i develop code at first i will place my code in git software whenever you place your code in git software only you can access that code remaining employees cannot access that code if all remaining employees want to access that code then you need to place that code in github where github is cloud based website guys github and gitlab both are same but they belongs to different companies guys git software is mainly designed in order to show text files but if you want to store large size binary files like images audios videos in git software then your git software will become slow and it will decrease performance so if you want to store large binary files like images audios videos then you can use github and gitlab guys there are mainly two tools that we can use in order to handle large size binary files they are git lfs and git nx by using these two tools you can handle large binary files git lfs where lfs stands for large file storage this git lfs is supported by github and git nx is supported by gitlab we cannot use this git nx in free version of gitlab only you need to pay money and you need to use gitlab enterprise edition